then I have to make sure it's not advanced. That's the spark. And gasoline's on. <laughs> and we got to get in from the other side, but I'll, I'll, uh, I got to crank it. Power on. We disconnect the battery and turn the fuel off because you never know if it's going to leak. Now, I think that's all set. Oh, before I, before I turn the key on, what I want to do too is make sure it's not connected here. Sometimes when I turn it on, the key on it will start right up. And if the piston's in the right place, it'll be a fire. So if, it, if it's the right place, it's going to start it right up. And you never, you never go around with the crank. If you're here and it backfires, it'll break your arm. That's why you'll pull out it. Just...
What I did, I started on the battery, then I switched to, to Magneto. There's a Magneto that was running. You don't need any of those deads. It's always interesting to drive. These are coiled, so when you turn the ignition on, the coils are they're buzzing. There's a commutator here that directs it to which which spark plug. And if it's at the right spark plug and the, the piston just right, it, it starts it. It starts right up. I've done that a few times, but you just it has to hit right, you know. This thing is it directs some heat onto the carburetor. If I ran it without that, especially if it's cool outside, it'll freeze the carburetor up. So I had to put that on so it draws hot air. In, into the carburetor, which you kind of like cold air coming in the carburetor, you get more power, but it'll actually freeze the carburetor up. And if I choke it too much, even though the carburetor, it's an updraft carburetor, it'll, it'll flood that like crazy. That's why I choke it one time, I pull it up, and I go half choke to start it. it took me years to learn that. <laughs> That's what happened to the plane? Yeah. He says his carburetor froze up in the air. Yep. Then? Well, just the temperature, because I've been flying here 60 years. And I only had it free, uh, the airplane I had only had it freeze up one time. I was going to the Martha's Vineyard and it started to bump. So I put, I put carburetor heat on to, to take care of that. Because normally on that airplane, you never use carburetor heat. Most, most of the old airplanes always put carburetor heat on, especially when you're going to land, because you back off. And this, the speed of the air going through the carburetor gets cold. It's, it'll freeze, and it'll freeze up, actually freeze up. So you put carburetor heat to make sure that doesn't happen. It happened in all the years I've flown. It happened only one time that I needed it. It's interesting.